Hello there, Leo, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. My cat, Zeus, is here visiting you, and, you know, he just positions himself in the most cutest way, but, of course, I'm going to move him over, Leo, and we're going to go ahead and get started, Leo, on your oracle messages, and Leo, how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long, and it is for you, Leo. Oh, my cat, my cat knows better. He knows he's not supposed to play with these, so. Am I going to have to kick Zeus out of the reading? Oh, no, he's getting playful. He was sleeping. Okay, we're going to be finding out all that we can from Spirit Leo when it comes to your current situation. For Leo and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, push to the surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So this is a time to really focus on your inner desires. If you don't know what your inner desires are, are then you really do need to focus. Pay attention to what stirs you, what gets you excited. Uh, let's see. We're going to be reading this. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty. Ooh, ooh. Or... You may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. grasp. So I am seeing, you know, a, a place where you finally get some type of change. It's been worth it. You know what I'm getting to, Leo, is a sense of four of wands, actually. So there may be, yes, something significant with home life or a commitment. But most importantly, it's like... Um, rest after labor or having to do something and it might have taken quite a bit of time and energy so you're going to be coming into a place where you can relax you can enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor give time to be passionate creative uh, spend time with loved ones or you know your furry friends or your home you know or making your home life better you know whatever you can dive into you get um the permission because you've done the work here. Now, some of you Leos, there could be a emphasis on a child or giving birth to a child or a new child or something new in your life being birthed right now. All right, also uh, earth signs coming through as well, Leo. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have gentle moderation, take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish. So this is why, you know, focusing on your intentions right now or setting some intentions is important, you know, because you are coming into a, a time of plenty. So we need to either maintain boundaries, set limits, or use moderation where we need to. So we might be just reassessing some goals, some desires, because we've achieved something. So this is the thing that I'm getting, Leo, <clears throat> is that you're coming into a place where you're going to see, you know, the hard work pay off, right? Um, and it's not that you want to feel like you're getting pushed into the next phase, but take some time to enjoy it because there's going to be a lot of creative energies. And I do feel a lot of passion happening as well. So, you know, this is a time to just give in to surrendering. Don't expect too much from yourself too quickly. I do sense even maybe temperance with this gentle moderation. So Sagittarius is coming through. Let's see, what else for Leo? There could be, okay, take it if it resonates. <laughs> There's a couple of things. Maybe something about teeth here or having strong teeth or receiving maybe some type of possibly like special tooth that comes from a special animal that may have significant meaning for you. Oh, know your fears. I feel that this is really coming into your own power, right? Knowing your fears and when you know them, you own them. And when you own them, they don't own you. So, you know, for some of you, Leos, you're turning maybe even your, your fears into passion or a healthy challenge for yourself. Okay, 
What's coming to my mind's eye, Leo, is the Eight of Swords with this. So the Eight of Swords is um, associated with air sign. There could be a lot going on in the mind, stresses, or we might be we might not be uh, able to see how to overcome a fear or a solution or an opening to something here. But rest assured, you're going to be pushing to the surface here, Leo. That's funny that my, I think that was, was that my phone that made a, a noise there? Yeah. Anyhow. Oh, okay. I'm, I I got to ignore that. Anyhow. Know your fears. Okay. I want to get a little bit more too with know your fears for Leo. You can, okay, Leo, this is so perfect. Look, we got this uh, polite de uh, declaration. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I do feel this is really associated with uh, sun energy here. Anyhow, you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. So with that sun energy that I'm picking up with this, you know, it's just like the sun is, you know, extremely bright. It lights everything up, especially when you've gone through maybe just having a little bit illuminated through a time of change, metamorphosis, or having to surrender to something you know, that we may have chosen or not chosen. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours and stay in your power. Oh my goodness, you're coming into a time of plenty or you may have a sudden windfall. You're gonna be feeling really powerful. So don't get discouraged. Don't let anything impede your pro uh, progress here. Know that also you can be gentle with yourself and others because this is a time of some type of new, you know, and gentle, innocent energy with that baby whale up there. And see that support that you're getting from the ancient ones, from the strong ones. So don't, don't feel like you have to figure everything out. Just take your time getting used to having the sun shine on you. And speaking of that sun shining on you, you know, some of you right now or soon to be, you could just be finding yourself standing out more, maybe gaining more influence or popularity you know, and however that fits your life, right? But I would say don't get caught up in that either because it's all about gentle, mo a gentle moderation. So just being humble, being uh, polite <laughs> with yourself and others, right? Uh, and especially because there may be something going on that I'm picking up for some of you, Leos, where you possibly are fearing standing out too much. But you can't help that you're standing out. I mean, you're, you've got unique uh, qualities that need to stand out. So you know, give yourself some room to grow, make mistakes, take baby steps if you need to. Also allow yourself to be supported. It's going to be important for you to feel supported at this time. Um, what else for it, Leo? inner knowing, trust your inner knowing, especially when it comes to knowing your fears. And we were just talking about this gentleness. So you are really tapping in and tuning into uh, possibly just being neutral or trying to stay neutral. And I would say that's the way to go. Um, it's all about gentleness. See, we were just picking that up. There is this really strong energy with that big mama whale down there pushing you up to the surface gently here. And that's exactly what's happening here is that, you know, you're breaking free here, you're coming up and the more gentle you can be, the better off. So you do have this inner knowing of how much to push forward um, and when to settle, right? Into maybe being patient, not settling for less, okay? <laughs> Let's see, what else for um, Leo? Oh, look at that light. Yeah, I feel that there's this energy of being drawn towards and to situations and vice versa. So pay attention to that light within because you do carry this light. Okay, so some of you, it might be a brand new light that could be sparking from you too. So you are carrying it forward. Okay, I'm going to have to. I'm just going to have to. I'm sorry about that. I got to turn off those distractions. So maybe that's what we need to do too, is just turn off those distractions, right, Leo? 
and just focus on your inner light, not your fears. You know, your fears are just there to make you aware of what you are actually overcoming, okay, and what you can overcome. But this is a time where I feel that you are just taking it slow as well. Let's get a little bit more with this light. You know, you see that lighthouse back there, so there's a sense of attraction as well aiding others too for some of you leos or you know you being um guided by another here and not you know feeling like you aren't going to be helped in some way shape or form let's get more with this light for leo hmm. leo i feel that this is time for you to focus <laughs> on long-term gains, long-term things, and being the light regardless of a situation or what others may have done or what you feel they could do to you. Now, some of you Leos, there may be something here where, I don't know, I was picking up something about possibly reacting in a way that you know could be um, impulsive here. And just because we do have that five of swords, an unwise choice, there's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. See, and this is where you really shine your own light. And also, you can allow others to be however however they want to be. If they want to be negative and unfair in life, well, good for them because that's all they're going to do is reap negativity and unfairness for them to enjoy more and more while you get to enjoy more light. And remember, I was picking up that sun energy too. So... It's just it's showing me that you're going towards growth, abundance, happiness, and possibly being protected or moving away from things that could, you know, dim your light. And also a lot of you could be focusing on, you know, quality over quantity right now, and that's the best route. I would say, you know, not all of you Leos will resonate with this, but some of you may. Um, you know, this isn't the time that you you want to give into doing anything that's like seems like a shortcut or risky. You know, I'm just seeing something about gambling here. So we are paying attention to detail as well. So for some of you, if something seems repetitive, know that it's actually paying off and you are getting very skillful. And this is why I get this whole thing about you coming into this place of feeling complete okay where you can enjoy some rest time some celebration time you know some leisure time okay so learning all you can about a subject or career going back to school taking a seminar or finding a mentor now some of you this could be also helping you with your inner light where you may want to dive deep into you know being more skillful or knowledgeable about something you are already doing Pay attention to detail and skilled work that you love. And I am seeing you building some type of beautiful thing in your life. So just stay focused right now on your goals because goals are within your reach. It's said on one of those cards. Yeah. And also you can move in whatever direction you need to. Remember that to accomplish your goals. What else for Leo? miracles <laughs> a time of plenty or a windfall oh my goodness let's get more what can we know about the miracles here for leo trust and believe in miracles you know this light is attracting not repelling this is repelling share your thoughts oh my goodness just do what, oh my oh okay oh oh look at that trust and magic <laughs> Just share your thoughts, share your wisdom, your knowledge, whatever you want. Now, don't hold back either when it comes to something that you already have training in or you're skillful or knowledgeable about. I do see something about you standing out too and being a hope and a miracle to others, okay? And also you being open and receptive to your own blessings and miracles as you do this beautiful thing of give and take is what I'm getting. As you share your thoughts, you open miracles up for yourself and others. And that's how you get like, you know, miracles that multiply. And it's kind of interesting we're talking about multiply. I don't know, because I was getting um, 
eight of swords earlier and here's the eight of pentacles so it's like literally transmuting or transforming those eight of swords into something you know useful here and tangible and accomplished because you're knowing your fears and turning them into some type of beautiful form here and just doing it anyways trust and magic even though it's been hard or difficult i know for some it can be there may be something here where for some of you you feel something has been um you know an injustice has happened and we want justice but be careful not to do something you know that could make matters worse and just give and believe in in your own light right now because there is a better way you just got to trust and believe in miracles and maybe for some believing in some type of maybe a sense of rescue or support where we need support what else show that you care all you got to do is you know be gentle with yourself you have this inner knowing of what you should give your time and your energy and your love to okay there may be uh things and people right now asking for your attention so pay attention to what's going on don't give into something here that could pull away from your light um, or the light that you give to the things that you that matter in your life that you do care i'm getting you know possibly like um queen or king of cups coming through as well here so there may be a lot going on too with you as far as balancing priorities maintaining a sense of focus not rushing into something or forcing something to happen and that does include for those that resonate not rushing um a injustice to happen on your time because <laughs> it'll be a lot more sweeter when it's on divine's time and it goes with the natural flow of process and growth it doesn't stagnate growth because it's right at that right time what else for leo contemplation we have this whole thing about inner desires yeah there's some there is going to be goals that you are hitting um, now take that time to bask in the energy of achievement appreciation um i apologize i don't know if you guys can hear but for some strange reason i got a weird thing going on with my technology in the house <laughs> for some reason the uh i robot decided to start vacuuming so apparently apparently it wasn't done earlier but anyhow i thought it was any so if the door starts banging that's what it is anyhow contemplation i get four of cups here okay don't 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 worry leo some of you it just you know pay attention to to not allow you know something disappointing or maybe boredom <laughs> get into the way or maybe we're feeling something is unsatisfactory in life but utilize that time as contemplation time to figure out what you uh you know what you do find satisfactory right or maybe not even satisfactory let's go you know extraordinary why not um so anyhow I do get four of cups with this water sign cancer pisces scorpio i want more too with the contemplation for leo it's a little bit interesting leo uh, in your reading a lot of things seem to be trying to distract right we uh zeus well he's not that distracting distracting he's cute you know but my my phone and then the dang eye robot it's like what in the world okay let's get a little bit more with contemplation oh my god be vigilant see you got to you can't let things um you know just like i did i just kept the door shut i'm not i don't care well you know even if if it's noisy i don't care i'll just you know um cancel it out concentrate on whatever you want your own desires and look at that we're talking about passion and desires and look at that fire there okay now also contemplate on what is worthy um you know of your time and your energy and that includes the things that you are wanting to stand up for or having to do when it comes to um, opposition okay and um adversaries right now but I, I feel that, you know, being patient is the best way. 
and the best medicine too for some of you what else for leo Take note, your answers are be being given to you. Ooh, quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. But this is so perfect. I mean, just like we were talking about, my iRobot's banging on the door here, okay? Um, you know, if you just let it go and ignore, see, it just kind of goes away, you know, goes to a different direction. Okay, so you are getting a lot of answers right now. Um, share your thoughts, right? Do what comes to you, express what you want to express, but also take time to, you know, see what's going on. And we have that card of contemplation, which is like a card of meditation too. The gift of neut uh, neutrality. See, this is all about staying neutral in a situation. Balance is at work in your life, Leo. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. And that's where you want to sit. We're not doing anything too extreme. In fact, we are coming into a place of really being come, uh, you know, becoming more masterful and skillful in one's life and creating what we want by re renegotiating if we need to, you know, our true inner desires, right? Um, and also appreciating what we do have and being willing to, you know, go into the direction of the current even when the current changes direction, okay, you can do this. You're propelling your own little jet here. So there is a gift and beauty in just holding and maintaining light regardless of what others are doing or have done onto you. This is where you're going to have a lot of power and summon a lot of magic and miracles in your own life because you're taking the high road and being blessed for doing it. What else for Leo? Let the emotions flow, positive, negative, it doesn't matter. Don't feel that you have to stick with something, label something, judge something. In fact, remember, we got this whole thing about know your fears. How about know all, all of your emotions, right? Accept all of them as beautiful, as wanting to be noticed, no matter what you feel bad about or how heavy or even how light it feels. You're going to have new memories coming in that you can jo enjoy and treasure, but we're just going to allow things to flow as well in one's life. So kind of go with, you know, your energy levels as well. Pay attention to your limits right now. You know, you are taking care of this light uh, within you, which takes a lot of um, extreme inner knowing and gentleness, yet also being vigilant because we're being careful of who and what we're going to surround our own gift of light with. What else? This is a time of you being um, recharged here. Yeah, make the sacrifice. There's something about maybe letting something go, surrendering to an idea or a belief or allowing a new situation to form for you or surrendering or making a sacrifice to an outcome. Let's get more about this. Make the sacrifice for Leo. Noticing this eclipse too. Keeping it in check. Pay attention to what's going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. See, we may need to take it slow or not let something um, engage with us that could be. Uh, consuming too much of your time and your energy that will not be rewarding because this is there's something about you being back on task here be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner you might consider reviewing your goals your schedule or project you are working on all could use some fine tuning okay so yeah be willing to change something up remember you are allowed to <laughs> Move into whatever direction you need to, to accomplish your goals. You're almost there, Leo. Oh my goodness. Don't give up now. Mm -mm. 
In fact, you, uh, in fact, as you get closer to you, your goals, you might find that there's going to be more opposition and challenges. That just means there's going to be a bigger reward ahead of time. But don't worry. It, it, I don't want to make it sound like every time you're going to, you know, achieve goals, it's going to, you're always going to have challenges with it. You're going to be able to get through things a lot quicker, um, you know, because there's always going to be opposition in life always it's just how we react how we uh you know go with it um either how we adapt to it or change directions right do something different just don't question yourself and and what you know is really good for your soul this is about what's good for your soul right now leo your soul is really um ignited right now okay and I do get a sense of all of the layers of you that makes that all of the things that make you, it's all uh, awakening and feeling everything all at the same time, your energetic body, your mental body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, your physical body. So take time and be gentle with yourself and don't, and set anew and know that you are going to be guided through a time of transition change or you know, whatever you got to do to keep things in check, because it's going to be worthy. It's going to be worth your time. What else? You may need to be meticulous and patient, but know that you're becoming more and more skillful and it's just going to become easier and easier. Ooh, starfishy. I really get star energy too anyways. So uh, star would be associated with Aquarius, this light, this star, you're, you know, this is all about you finding your way no matter what. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. See, we're talking about you. This, this is what we're just talking about before this card came out. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. You're going to get some good fortune in your life that's going to really give you a kickstart Put a smile on your face and know that it was all worth it. <clears throat> what else? There could be, not all of you Leos, but maybe for some, there could be a fascination or a love of sea creatures, sea animals. Um... That's my vacuum. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, well, if you can. A new day dawns. This is all about your new day. Tell yourself every day you get to have a brand new day filled with miracles and blessings. Okay. Think of every, th every day that you wake up becoming uh, more brighter and beautiful and happier, healthier, wiser. Your new day dawn, tr uh, dawns here. Trust in magic. What else? Okay. Wash away your burdens. There is something about getting back on task. You know, there may be something here that you, that it's run its course, right? Something, oh, sorry. I was, I was looking at over here. Something has run its course. So wash away your burdens and don't be afraid to wash away your burdens or say no when you need to say no. Because I do feel that, you know, there's something here where you can see others are engaging in something that you know, you, you know better than to engage with. And so um, as hard or, or as challenging as it might be, I mean, once you do it, you'll be fine. Maybe it's just getting initiated to step aside and step away from people or things or energies that could just um, be too risky right now, right? Or manipulating. Be careful of others' intentions right now too for some of you, especially when you know something negative could be a, a stewing or looming. What else? Free spirit, you know, washing away your burdens here. What can you do to give yourself and your soul a little space, energy, and time? It might be giving up an idea, a belief, uh, something that, you know, or accepting something that may have been hidden. But you won't know until you just allow yourself to really look at things, contemplate on what, what is a burden. Because sometimes... One, we, we don't know what's a burden unless we take a little time away from it. What else? 
Yeah, you're revealing your truth here. I do, I was seeing this also, this mermaid as sitting in a position where, you know, she's on the ocean floor here. So there may have been something that, you know, you felt anchored by, but in this whole time you have, you really haven't been anchored by because you've got fin, you've got a, a big, beautiful fin actually. This is why you're, you know, coming up to the surface. You're pushing up to the surface here and revealing your truth. And having, um, a, you know, more freedom with what you want to do, say, wear, uh, dream about, give to. Because whatever, whatever has been surrounding you possibly that has been, you know, a burden to your own inner light is being eradicated as you just allow things to flow through you, right? And giving yourself, because some of you Leos, you might be burdening, burdening yourself. Just take this if it resonates. You could possibly, and maybe you not even know this, um, you could be possibly putting so much, uh, you know, things on your schedule to keep yourself busy. And, and while you're doing that, there's this underlying thing going on here where we could feel pressure, you know, just think of this. Think of like turning on your faucet outside or something. Like I'm thinking of a hose. And you try and you squeeze it on the end of that hose, you know, and pretty soon it's going to blow up. So, you know, but if you release, you know, you can allow it to flow, right? So give yourself time because I feel that there may be something here where either it's, you know, you're doing or, um, we're just not saying no enough to other t others, uh, t you know, others demand on your time and your energy where you can give a little time and space to surrender to how you're really truly feeling. Maybe just to even give, um, you know, time or a period to grieve or mourn or to even just be grateful, like tears of joy for some of you. Okay. Because we don't want to, you know, we don't want to do what I was talking about where we take that <laughs> hose and we, you know, clamp on it right? Because it builds pressure. What else for Leo? And that's just extra pressure that you don't need. Okay. It's heavy for your energy. It's heavy for your light. Oh my God. Oh my God. And you're making room for abundance, baby. So a lot of you could be receiving great fortune, gifts, items, things to enjoy. And that's the whole thing here. You're not moving around, you're like, you know what? I'm going to sit here and enjoy my rewards with myself and others. Wow. <clears throat> you're entering a phase of plenty. Set some intentions. Hmm. Goals are within your grasp. Look at that. She's holding that pearl necklace. What else for Leo? communication. Let's get more about this communication. We were talking about the communication that's going on though, Leo, between all of your bodies, right? Your spiritual body, your energetic body, physical body, mental body, emotional body, and also spiritual realm here too. Solitude. Yeah. See, there's something going on here where you are expressing feeling doing something very divine and sacred. It's not a waste of time. It's divine time and it's essential time for your health, your well-being, so that we aren't we aren't building up extra pressure when we don't need to. So we may need to do something to allow peace to, pre to prevail, okay? And if that means we need to remove ourselves from a situation to spend some um, you know, honest good quality solitude time, then do that. That should be your first priority is you. I do get Virgo coming through with hermit energy. Okay. So we are really um, allowing our inner light to guide us. Okay. Now also, also you could be um, really attracting a good mentor or you are becoming a great mentor too to others. But, you know, with all great mentors, you know, they all had to be guided by someone or others as well. Okay. So I do feel that you're attracting a great support or support system. Okay, let's see. What else for Leo? Hmm. Oh my God, Leo. This card came out really strong. It was actually on the bottom here. We we're just talking about support system here. So um, be your best friend right now and know that if you don't have a good friendship, which I do hope, and if you do have good friends, 
I mean, you know, be grateful for that and also be grateful for friendships on the horizon as well that are blessings for you. What else? Innocence, see, coming back to a place of purity, washing away the burdens, the heaviness, um, or anything that may have made you feel less than worthy of, right? Because there could be some, not all of you Leos, but there, you know, depending on where you're at with healing, I mean, there could be remnants or feelings of feeling guilty or ashamed or, you know, whatever it is, but spirit is saying it's, it's okay. And a lot of you, you are in this place of innocence. So just milk that energy and be good with it. Because when you're in a place of innocence, this is where you actually allow a lot of miracles to happen because, you know, you're not putting, you know, um, expectations out. Um, you're allowing things to unfold naturally, which allows infinite possibility, uh, excuse me, infinite possibilities to occur in one's life. What else? Ah! Okay. Be insightful and establish. Ground and rebalance your energy, Leo. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occup occupy the past or the future. See, this is why I was getting the Eight of Swords energetically here. But remember what I was saying, that eight of swords, it's um, airs, you know, it's the swords. It's like you're putting your those swords into material form though. Okay, so don't be afraid to continue doing things. Um, don't be afraid to establish or reestablish your energy, rebalance your energy, your, um, your boundaries. And also with that eight of swords with this um, about it not occupying, you know, the past or the future, because that's, you know, a, a time of feeling imprisoned to the past, right? Feeling trapped in the past or trapped in the future. And uh, that's, you know, a false sense of imprisonment. Okay, so what else for Leo? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Letting go with ease, actually. So... Surrender to what you think it should have been or how you think it should go. It's going to go better than you can expect because you've got miracles and magic at play here. So allow yourself some kind of room to get inspired, uh, to invite a new energy as well. And let go of something where you can, I, I feel it's something with like schedule or maybe an old idea or a habit because I do pick up 10 of wands so for a lot of you Leos, especially the ones that are used to working all the time and so hard, you got to back away from that because you're coming into a time of plenty. So there's a little contradiction though when you when you're when you're trying to invite abundance in one's life, and it doesn't mean you lay back and you be lazy, but as you start to accumulate more wealth into one's life, and however those resources show up. You know, it's important to let go of old patterns and ideas that fit the old you or old lifestyle, right? So um, maybe drop one or two things if you can, right? Ease something up so you have room to um, be with a new energy, new abundance. What else for Leo? Ah, the well, cards are just so funny right now. Yeah, see, we're too much in the future here. You got a lot of you are really into the future. You can only predict the future so far anyway, so just remain responsive and re aware and know that your future is bright because you have the ability to create the future that you want. What else? Stay strong, Leo. <laughs> Yeah, there's something that didn't go quite the way we wanted to, or we're just still trying to maybe, you know, figure something out, but stay strong mentally, emotionally, physically. Okay, take care of yourself and know it's going to be worth staying strong. Your perseverance is absolutely paying off. Dreaming, pay attention to dreams right now. Even your daydreams too, Leo, because we have this whole thing about contemplation, setting some intentions. 
and dreaming of the you know dreaming of the past the present or the future so you know allow yourself to either be healed or see something um or you know maybe be taught something here through dream state maybe keep a journal by you if you can and also pay attention to your daydreams here and then stay focused on what's going on around you and how you can utilize what you have right now to form maybe a, you know whatever you've been dreaming okay daydreaming about or visualizing okay let's see what else for leo waiting you're getting <laughs> see you're in a period of just taking your time to rejuvenate to heal and also receiving your rewards watching and waiting Mm -hmm. not doing something too quickly remember there was something about not going too quickly so i feel for some of you it's gonna <clears throat> excuse me it's gonna you know maybe challenge you to stay strong to be patient okay what else blessings also, there's something powerful with healers or a healer here too and being surrounded by that. But just know that there's, you know, friendships and connections also out there that are very powerful for you too. And there's something strong going on here too where I feel that there may be this like, um, like a soul calling, a soul group or something that could be manifesting some great healing and magic and miracles onto the planet, into their world and others. So know that blessings are occurring in your life. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot going on with you staying on track. I feel that you have strong guardian angels physically and non-physically that's helping you really stay insightful and aware, right? And so that you are on the, the right track here and not getting discouraged or, um, tempted to be led off astray here what else for leo single mind mindness um yeah choose your own path and what's best suited for you oh my god more about shedding this um old energy look at this there is change coming your way cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects so cultivate a sense of adventure instead of fear, or when you do find that fear, replace it with adventure. And know that you actually, the key right now is to know that the right thing to do is to follow your own path and what's best suited for you. Not what you think others want you to do or people pleasing, okay? Not, I'm not saying all of you are people pleasing, but there may be something where it's hard to say no to others right now or to change something up. We could even be ending some friendships and things like that because we are harnessing some new energies and integrating um, different things into one's life right now and being accepting of that because blessings are surrounding you because you're doing the right thing. I do feel that you're turning your back on big time to situations or people that aren't, you know, helping you grow further and expanding your light not to say that they never did but there's more for you even if it means you have to be by yourself for the time being what you need will arrive what else for leo hmm? yeah go with the flow take time to relax this might be this other thing where you know, I was talking about that 10 of um, wands and like, you know, coming into a time of plenty with your energy, time, money, resources or whatever. So take a little bit more time to relax more and more. OK, and you're going to find more freedom in that and, and more ease when it comes to materializing the things that's going to make your life a lot more comfortable on planet Earth. OK, OK, let's see what else. So just relax, take it easy, because again, I was getting the Eight of Swords, and that could be a card of stress, mental stress, take time to ground, make sure you are eating, you know, because with the Eight of Swords, one can forget to take time to eat regular, you know, on a regular basis, or tend to eat things that don't have any nutritional value, and I'm not trying to tell you what to eat, um, but just make sure, you know, you have balance and moderation, really, 
Um, so take time to ground. Again, this is all essential. This is not a waste of time. You know, some people think it is a waste of time because they don't see results right away from taking time to meditate or to relax because again, they don't see instant results on the surface and that's not how it works. You will feel and notice subtle results, which makes um, the energies subtly change, but they make dramatic and big changes. Like it has a huge ripple effect. Okay, so it's important to ground yourself, know your own strength and know that you um, embody like the sea turtle as well. You've got a lot of energy and wisdom that you've been gathering here and you can feel right at home no matter what changes are going on in one's life. What else? Hope. I was getting that like star energy earlier because that starfish, but we do have hope. Hope is the seed right now. Hope is what we need to really tend to, making sure we are surrounded by things or people that can sustain hope. But, and if you can't, then, oh my goodness, well, we, it's better to, you know, keep your own hope alive than listen to others that want to, you know, dim your light. Okay. So your future is bright. And also a lot of you Leos may need to hear that there's something strong about whether it's happening now. Um, I do feel it happening in the future, though, where you are a hope for others. So this is why it's important that your guardian angels are helping you stay strong as well. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Leo, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Leo have to look forward to? in the near future. Support, told you, you're gonna get the support you want. Love, healing, it's good. Hopefulness, bright prospects, a bright future, love. Yes, you're getting support in the near future. Be on the lookout. Take time with yourself too. Because I feel some of you Leos, not all of you, you, you even may, may even rush the healing process. Like you, you, you get impatient with yourself. <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay, let's find out how spirit is helping you currently. How is spirit currently helping Leo? Re-energizing, yeah, it's kind of perfect with all that's been in this reading. So spirits doing things and bringing you situations, maybe even ideas to help re-energize you, maybe even re-stimulate you, your dreams. Remember, your dreams too are important right now. So get ready to experience the miracles and magic that will happen in your life that's going to make you feel, you know, a sense of being revitalized. This is how spirit is helping you support, re-energizing, healing, hope. Ooh, it's all good. So don't worry. Love and light.